Hi, and thank you for joining us after the break. We are on a New Year special episode which is dedicated to the Dubai International Film Festival. After Tom Cruise and Ricky Well, we go over to one of the most talked about films of the year, the heavily stylized, chic and super sleek production from Excel Entertainment. Here is the team of Dawn 2 talking about Dawn 2. Dawn. Ritesh Sudhwani is one of the coolest producers in B-Town today. Ten years back, he teamed up with his close friend Farhan Akhtar and produced the super hit evergreen film Dil Chata Hai, which everyone has seen and loved. In fact, I can watch the movie again and again. This year, they also produced Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara, which was a huge hit. And now, they ended the year with Dawn 2. Tell us a little more about Dawn 2. I think uh, Dawn this time, I keep saying it, is leaner, meaner, okay. sexier Sounds good. and uh, uh, cooler. We like such men. Yeah, so he is like that. He's, um, you know, in his, I think it's, uh, it's an endearing character because at the end of the day, you do not have um, sequels made on a negative character. Not here, not in Hollywood. Uh, not definitely not and so you've made this character iconic you've told people this is what he is he is evil but somehow you still like him and i said somewhere uh, all of us have some kind of evil streak in us yes. you know so i think uh, it it works really i mean when you people see a character yeah so you feel that okay you know this is dawn and this is what he is and there's an instant that and you know people accepted him we never thought about making a sequel in okay. fact, for almost three or four months after the release, till people just kept writing in, we would get stopped on the road, uh, on signal, people say, when are you making Dawn 2? Yeah. Because you left it on a right. hook that there is a possibility. Yeah. But we didn't know that the character would get, we were you know, taking a huge chance by saying that, you know, if you've seen Dawn 1, which is the original uh, Mr. Bachchan's Dawn, yes, where you have Vijay who survives. Yeah. And in this case, we made Dawn survive. Dawn. the Indian film industry with a bang with Dil Chata Hai in 2001 and in the process redefined the process of filmmaking. He continued with films like Lakshya, Dawn and Rock On. He received rave reviews for his acting and singing prowess too. He's admired and adored by millions all over the world for his intelligence, wit and cool attitude. It was a complete pleasure to have Farhan Akhtar with us on High Life Dubai. Dawn 1 was, of course, a tribute to the original. That's right. What's uh, Dawn 2 all about? Um, you're asking me a very, very tricky question, you know, <laughs> but um, because of uh, the nature of the film, it's very difficult to tell me exactly what it's about. But um, in a nutshell, if I had to uh, just give you a brief introduction, mm -hmm. uh, it would be, um, it's um, a journey that Dawn takes again to um, assert his supremacy okay. over a new lot of people. Right. You know, and he has a new mission. Welcome to hell, darling. All your movies are very, very uh, stylized, you know. Why is it so important for you to really stylize your movies? Um, it's not, I mean, uh, style, it's important for films to have a style. I right. mean, you know, I, I think the style can be that there is no um, uh, obvious style can also be a style yeah. uh, but it depends on the nature of the film you know so with dawn you have the opportunity to do something that is cutting edge right. you know that that can look extremely cool stylistic mm -hmm. um, so you have all those options but on a film like uh, zindagi na milegi dobara for example you you shoot it very differently and you keep the frames very real right. you know you don't want uh, the presence of the camera to really really show in that film mm -hmm. but in this film you have you can show off a little bit, you know, in these kind of movies and have a little more more fun, technically speaking, uh, way with stuff. You are a new generation filmmaker and a lot of young uh, people really look up to you. So do you come under pressure sometimes to be this role model to uh, No, not really. No, not really. You know, I, I think a lot of um, uh, tags that get associated with people, mm -hmm. not just me, you know, uh, are tags that are given to them by other people, not by themselves. Mm -hmm. So, if you start taking those things very, very seriously in life, I don't think you'll amount to much eventually. <laughs> you know, it's, it's important to focus on your work 
and whatever people think of you, they think about they think about you and they have that opinion about you because of your work. Right. You know, so if you start thinking about the opinion and not the work, I think you're going to be. Um, um, it's, I think it's the beginning of the end, so to speak. <laughs> She's the sizzling hot jungly Billy who can make Catwoman feel like a little kitten. Beautiful, talented, graceful and immensely successful. Let's meet the lady who's out to get Dawn once again, Priyanka Chopra. Lovely to have you on the show. Thank you. And I must tell you that you're one of the finest actors we have in the industry. And I'm so proud of you because I'm also a 4G girl. So. <laughs> Thank you so much. So tell me, um, are you, how jungly are you in, um, in Dawn 2? Junglier oh, than Jungly Billy? I'm very jungly in general. <laughs> Roma, Roma, very jungly Billy. Kab tak mera picha karti ra? Well, watch I think the most important <laughs> thing about why you need to watch Dawn 2 is because it'll change your life. Ooh. I'm la just la. <laughs> No, it won't change your life. But it's just a fun film, guys. Just lots of cars exploding, fighting, and, you know, tough and sexy me. I follow you on Twitter and I'm always reading uh, tweets about you doing million things at a time. <laughs> you know, so many movies and endorsements and now singing career. How do you manage? I just really love what I do and uh, I think when you really like what you do, it just kind of comes naturally. You just want to, you know, do this also and that also. You just want to do everything. I'm just really greedy. <laughs> Uh, you are fit and so fit. <laughs> How do you keep yourself fit? By doing a million things at a time. <laughs> I think that's what but, I do. Um, last but not the least, uh, any message for all the people, all the girls who look up to you? There's so many of them. Well, I'd just like to say, you know, sometimes you just have to, when you're given an opportunity, it's very important to not let it go and do the best that you can. And after you've done the best that you can, you need to let it go and say, you know what, I did the best that I could. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, I can do anything I want to. I think girls need to really believe that the world is their oyster and they can be whatever they want to do. It was fabulous to have a candid chat with the team of Dawn 2 in spite the busy schedules at Diff. And now I know what your next question is. Where is Dawn? You have to wait for a little bit for that, because Dawn is not difficult to find Dawn. See you in a bit. Join me after the break for an exclusive chat with the king of Bollywood, the man who really needs no introduction. The interview that all my Facebook fans have been waiting for with Shah Rukh Khan. Hey!